What's inside the closet? 죽은 자들의 공간. 귀는 귀가 있을 곳에 신의 시간이 있는 곳에 있음을 알게 된지어다. All right, hello everybody. This is Tyler at the Movie Beat. Welcome back to another Korean movie review. This is my first movie review of 2020, so pretty excited. And I'm here with the new supernatural horror film, The Closet. So as most of us know, Korea has had its fair share of successful horror films. Uh, Tale of Two Sisters, The Wailing, uh, Train to Busan, if we want to count the zombie film genre as horror, I think it kind of has its own genre now, but uh, Gong Jiam uh, was also very successful. Uh, the Closet does its best to try and reach these heights of some of these genre giants. Um, however, it doesn't really do enough to to get there. It has some, some flaws, I'll go into that in a little bit. but. Um, an excellent production design and a really solid performance from Ha Jung Woo make it so it might not be such a big waste of time. Might be worth checking out. So uh, stay tuned. Let's get into what is in the closet. Sung Won is an award winning architect trying to put his life back together after losing his wife in a tragic car accident. He and his daughter, Ina, played by Ha Yul, survived the crash, but they're still coping with intense mental, emotional distress from their loss. Um, and in turn, has actually strained their relationship. So on doctor's orders, they decide to move to a big house in the country where their clean air and quiet surroundings are supposed to help them in their recovery. What they don't know is that the closet inside Ina's bedroom holds a mysterious door to a dark realm that will threaten to pull their family apart even further than they could have imagined. Now, timing couldn't be worse for Song Won as one of his projects has just been greenlit and the city needs him to oversee the construction process. Now, at this time, his daughter Ina is starting to show some very peculiar, odd personality uh, issues. So very emotional the relationship is at an all-time low very strained so his career's on the line he decides to choose his career now he's going to get a nanny to watch over Ina while he's gone during the week and that's just going to be that however about a week goes by Ina disappears off the face of the earth there is no trace of where she went gone when months go by without any leads, Sangwon accepts an offer from the self-proclaimed spirit medium Gyung Hoon, played by Kim Nang Gil, who believes that Ina's disappearance may be linked to a 10-year-long mystery and that he might be able to solve the case. So the closet begins with a great tone of foreboding as we get through this found footage uh, of a traditional shamanistic style exorcism that gets the movie started off pretty well. There's crows flying in the sky, we've got roadkill, some good jump scares. They move into their, you know, kind of a traditional big creepy haunted house type setting. The young actress who plays Ina turns that creepy child dial all the way up. Think Danny Torrance from Act 3 of The Shining. Pretty awesome stuff here. Scary. Creepy. So the groundwork for a really good atmospheric horror film gets laid and as when Ina disappears and the music starts kicking in and Ha Jung Woo's desperation to try and find her, I was leaning more and more and more forward on the edge of my seat getting ready for a wild ride. I wanted to see a father literally have to go to the depths of hell to bring his daughter back out. That's what I thought I was going to be in for. But what it turned out to be was more of a like a Ghost Hunters meets Hellraiser meets the Children of the Corn. Now, saying that, okay, yeah, that kind of gave me chills. Sounds awesome. Uh, pretty cool premise. However, 
with the introduction of Kim Namgil's character, who is supposed to be this kind of wacky uh, spirit medium. So I get that they're trying to provide a little comic relief with his character being sort of uh, so wacky and goofy, but man, when he comes on the scene and he starts trying to explain the interdimensionality of the worlds, he gives an interstellar reference and he you know, tries to poke the pencil through the hole and he even brings up the movie along with the gods and asks Ha Jung Woo's character, Song Won, if he's ever seen that movie. Ha Jung Woo is the star of that movie. Um, it, it sort of took me out. It, it really broke the tension uh, that was building in the tone and it's just like, whoa, so this is gonna be like a kind of a campy comedy? I don't know. So that was an issue for me. This may all come down to personal preference. For me, I wanted my spirit medium to be more along the lines of Huang Jung Min and The Wailing, Sirius, uh, that film The Priests really worked for me because I felt like they kept a consistent dark tone throughout. It didn't just start joking around all of a sudden. Um, so this film is really trying to be more of an all-around uh, enjoyment, I feel like, to, to please everybody. And this probably wouldn't have been such an issue for me if Ha Jung Woo's character also sort of went down that path of jokey, campy. But he pays, he stays pretty strong in his uh, dramatic role. And this just made it feel very unbalanced. Also, when Ina disappears, the daughter, I do feel like there was sort of a hole in the movie and the closet, if you will, sort of felt empty. And she could have been the crucial balance between these two very different characters uh, that I felt was missing. Overall, I do feel like the closet has something that it wants to say about um, mental health, trauma, treatment of children, which kind of comes across, but I don't feel like they delivered the message as strongly as they wanted to. Uh, this was especially noticeable in the climax of the film where they try to sandwich in, you know, the traditional Korean sort of tearjerker moments uh, right between some of the big scares. It worked to a certain extent, but I do feel like the tonal imbalance between the two main characters made it really hard for me to trying to root for these guys to, to, to solve the puzzle and to, you know, to go through them with, on this journey. It sort of turned into more of an amusement park style ride. So again, that's going to come down to personal preference. Ha Jung Woo does deliver a very reliable, strong performance. And it is, and it may be interesting for fans of Kim Nam Gil, great actor, uh, he is in a role that's sort of outside his normal, cool, uh, serious style that we've seen. So that is interesting. But overall, I think it's going to come down to what were you looking for? Are you looking for more enjoyment or are you looking to get really spooked out and to have a serious you know, genre contender that's gonna meet up with some of the greats. So for those of you guys willing to look past some of the tonal issues and you keep your expectations at a minimum, I do feel like there is some fun to be found in the closet. Not for these characters, no, no, no. But for us viewers, it is somewhat enjoyable. So I'm gonna rate this movie an above average 6.5 out of 10. Uh, could have been a lot more, I'm not sure if the film was actually, if it accomplished what it set out to do. If it was trying to just be more entertainment, enjoyability, I do feel like it did a pretty good job at that. So let me know what you guys think of the movie The Closet when you do end up seeing it and uh, look forward to giving you guys more reviews in the future. So keep tuned. If you like this video, please click like. And if you want to see more like it, you can subscribe to the channel. So until next time, I'm Tyler at The Movie Beat. Keep watching movies. Oh,